in the last lecture we completed the register functionality for our users and in this lecture we are going to work on the login functionality so now that we have a user created the user will log into our application using the username and password that they have and we will be checking the username and password and seeing if we have the user registered and after that we will create a token for them once they have successfully uh, told us that they are a valid user so for that we need a login action method and this will another this will be another post method so a post method because we need some information during the login process and this will point to forward slash api forward slash auth forward slash login method so let's use the HTTP post keyword and also the route for this, which will be login in this case. And after that, let's create the structure for the method. So public async task of type I action result. This will be the login method. I'll scroll down. Now the login method similar to the register method will receive some information from the user and that will be the username and the password. So we need a similar request DTO object for the login method. So let's create one open solution explorer and inside the DTO let's right click add a new class and call this login request DTO dot CS. I will also stop my solution in here I need two properties so property and this will be of type string and this will be the username again this will be a required attribute and the data type for this one will be data type dot email address and after that we will have another property which will be of st type string as well and that will be the password and this will also be a required attribute and this will be data type dot data type dot password so we have defined the two properties over here and let's come back to the auth controller where we will start by identifying if you know finding the email address of the the one that is coming in to the method so first of all we will use the login request dto to accept it as an input parameter from body so let's use the square brackets from body and we are going to take the login request dto object give it a name and the first thing that we will do is to use the user manager class so await user manager class dot find by email async method so it needs an email to find if this user exists or not so let's use that let's use the login request dot username and capture that in a variable called user and if I hover over it this will be an identity user and it's a nullable identity user so based on the response we may have a null value back so we have to check if user is not equal to null then we have to carry on to check its password is right or not in other case we will just return a bad request from here saying uh, something was wrong or you can also say username or password incorrect you know something like that so once the user was found by email now we want to use the user manager class again to check for its password so let's use the user manager class again to use the method check password async and that takes the identity user that we found and the password so let's provide it with the identity user 
and the password that was supplied in the login request DTO dot password property. As this method name suggests, it returns a flag, a boolean flag, indicating whether the given password is valid for the specified user. So using this method, we can confirm that the username and password is correct and they both match with what we have in the database. So this returns a result. So variable, uh, you can call this the check password result is equal to this let me scroll up after that we want to check if the check password result was a successful one we want to create a token so i'll put the comment here create token and then return an ok response with the token over here we will do the token part in the next lectures but in here we are just confirming that our login process works so now that we have the structure for the login method we have to fill in the part where we have to create a token on a successful login but we will do that in the next few lectures but here let's test the functionality for the login method so run the application now we see a new endpoint which is the login endpoint and let's try it out we only have one user in the database which is reader at nzwalks.com and the password for this this one was reader at one two three but let's give it a wrong password let's say this is one two three four and let's execute we should get back a 400 bad response saying that the username or, or password was incorrect. If I scroll down, it says exactly that and we get a 400 back. And in case we supply the correct username and password and click execute, this time we get a 200 response back. We don't have any body or response body for this one because we are not sending anything back to the OK response. But in the next few lectures, we will work on the token functionality. And now that we are able to you know, identify that the username and password were correct, now we have to create a token for you with the roles that you have inside the database. So let's come back in the next lecture and work on the token functionality.